Hey, what's up guys? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this video, I'm going to show you a little new feature in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 that's pretty cool. It was available in Illustrator and After Effects prior, uh, but it's pretty awesome that it's coming over to Photoshop, and that is being able to do math inside of dialog boxes. So let's jump over into Photoshop and take a look at what I'm talking about. So I've got a, a canvas here that's 1920 wide by 1080 tall. I never quite remember how to divide that out. Like, what's the center of 1920? Uh, so, an easy way to do that, let's say I wanted to place a guide out there. I could just go up to View, down to New Guide, and it's going to ask me, where do you want this new guide? I could do 1920 and put a little slash 2, and that's going to do divided by 2. I'm going to hit Tab so you can see the math. 960 is 1920 divided by 2. And it puts that guide right in the center. Another thing you could do, for instance, if you were to build a shape and you just click on your canvas over here, it says create a rectangle, like how big do you want it? Well, let's say I want it to be this quadrant up here. I could do 1920 divided by 2, and I could do, uh, what, 1080 divided by 2. And now what I have is a rectangle that's exactly half and half there, so it's like a quarter of the, uh, and it's also white, so you can't see it. It's like a quarter of the space, so I could fit it right up in here because it's half here and half here. Okay, so let's get a little bit more organic. Let's say we have, let's say we have like a little uh, polygon out here. Uh, there he is. And let's say I just want this same exact polygon, but I want him to be twice the size. I could duplicate him over. I'm holding Alt or Option to do that. And then let's say I transform him with Command or Control T. So now we're transforming. Up here in the transformation window, we have a bunch of different specifications, the X and the Y height, the width and height percentage, which is really easy to double that up by just making that 200% and you can lock that in. But let's say our rectangle started at something like 45.73% before. Uh, we want them both to be that, right? So we don't know the exact math super quick. What's 45.73 times two? I don't know. What if I wanted to multiply it by three times that height? All I have to do is hit the little star symbol and then maybe times three, and that's gonna multiply it by three. And it already did the math across here, but if I click over here, it's gonna go ahead and do that math as well. And so now I have that tiny rectangle times three. Uh, basically, all I'm really trying to show you here is that you can do math within the dialog boxes in Photoshop. So I didn't have a, the a most amazing example here, but it's more just the sort of principle of it that you can do this. So you can do a plus or a minus to add or subtract. You can do the slash or the star to divide or multiply. This is actually really awesome and it's for anybody that's trying to do math, wishes they could do math, let's say you're dividing uh, an angle like 360 into 15 shapes or 360 into 17 shapes, all you have to do is 360 slash 17, right? So that's pretty easy. Um, you can already do it in Illustrator. You can already do it in After Effects. It's really cool to see that come over to Photoshop as well. If you guys like this tutorial, make sure you like this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.